Which accessories should you get for the Insta360 X3? In this video, I'll share my top 10 accessories I recommend that will help you get better 360 photos and videos and also keep the camera safer. Now, there are hundreds of accessories on the market that you could buy for the X3, but a lot of them can be pretty pointless. Since usually, instead of adding more accessories, you just need to get more creative with your camera setups to achieve the cool angles you are hoping for. That said, there are some accessories that are totally worth it, like the ones on this list. You'll find links to all 10 accessories down below. The first accessory that is a must have is probably the most simple one, and that is the selfie stick that came with the camera. Selfie sticks really have come a long way since I first started shooting 360 back in 2015. And this thing is quality. It goes out and then in, that's what she said, with minimal friction and it just feels like a really solid piece of equipment. And since the majority of shooting situations for 360 video are going to be handheld, this really is the perfect accessory because it also folds up to nearly nothing, meaning you could easily put this in a backpack or even your pocket if you have big pockets. The next accessory I rate really highly is the Insta360 Power Selfie Stick. It's exactly what it sounds like. It's a selfie stick with inbuilt power. So it stores 4,500 mAh worth of power in the handle. Then at the top of the selfie stick, you'll find a USB-C port, meaning with a short cable, you can attach your camera and the cable fits perfectly in the blind spot, giving you around half a day of extra shooting time with the X3 without even starting to deplete the X3's original battery. It also has buttons in the handle, on off, record and power level. The next one is probably more of a nice to have than a must have and that is the extended edition selfie stick. This selfie stick is not cheap, but it does allow you to extend your camera three meters above head height, which can produce some really cool higher perspectives. So if you don't mind attracting the attention of literally every single person you walk past while shooting, then you might want to consider it. If you shoot a lot of 360 video and you want your camera to be freestanding, you'll probably need a monopod. The one I recommend for the X3 is the best 360 aluminium monopod. This one is cheaper and just as good quality as the Bushman version 2. And I wouldn't recommend a pro monopod like the Bushman Pro with the X3, since it costs towards the higher end and is better suited to virtual tours. Whereas the best 360 monopod is cheaper, it's portable, it's got a great 500 gram counterweight and and legs that extend pretty far out, which should keep your camera safe in low to medium winds. Next on the list is also from Best 360, and this could potentially be the best accessory of the year. And that is the Best 360 camera clamp. This is a great accessory because it's small, so it has minimal presence in your shots. You can tighten it to maximum tightness, so it should be sturdy on a railing or attaching it to something like a car or a bike. And it's got a one quarter inch tripod thread on the top, meaning you could mount any selfie stick to it. Here I've got the Insta360 selfie stick, but attach this clamp to a railing and you've got a really sturdy setup there that also has an extremely minimal presence in your shots. As an accessory, I can't fault it, but what I can fault is the price. Right now it's between 55 and 65 US dollars in the Best 360 store, and that's a fair bit for a small camera accessory. I do think it would be worth buying, and it would mean that you could get a wider range of creative camera setups due to its minimalist but highly flexible design, but the price might be off-putting. If it is, a great alternative is this small rig camera clamp that I found on Amazon. This clamp is also great quality and I've been using it a lot during the filming of my upcoming 360 video course. It has a magic arm and ball head, meaning you can maneuver it so your selfie stick points in whatever direction you like. You just need to be careful not to put too much weight on it or extend your selfie stick too far or the ball head may buckle under pressure. But for most setups, it shouldn't. The next accessory I'd recommend is this cute little Joby tripod that I've been using for nearly five years. This thing is fantastic and I just love how small it is. It means you can fold it up to nearly nothing and put it in your pocket. So this tripod is a good solution when you want to put your camera on the ground, but obviously you don't want to put it freestanding without some kind of tripod. Next, you're going to need an SD card, and I'm currently using with my X3 the SanDisk Extreme Pro 1 terabyte. I know that's total overkill, but instead you might want to consider 400 gigabytes or 128 if you want something cheap. Insta360 also just released their own SD card, which is obviously compatible with the X3, which currently caps out at 128 gigabytes. It is 
however, only $25, so a great add-on to the X3 if you don't wanna buy your card and camera from two separate places. If you're recording sound with your X3, especially dialogue, you may wanna consider a wireless microphone. The Rode Wireless Go 2 is a great option because it fits nicely in the blind spot of the X3 and connects wirelessly to the transmitter that you put on your shirt, meaning you can have proper lapel audio that's recorded directly into the X3 without having to sync up separate soundtracks later. They've also just released these cute little wind muffs. If you wanna use the internal sound recording of the camera, which I think is already pretty good, but what the wind muff does is it softens any wind sound so they hopefully don't destroy your audio. This is the inbuilt audio of the X3 with no added microphone. Here's what it sounds like with the Rode Wireless Go 2 talking into the transmitter, which is clipped onto my lapel. And this is what the wind muffs sound like. They don't seem to do too much in terms of reducing background noise. However, I imagine they would be handy when you've got a lot of wind, like on a motorcycle or a windy day, which isn't really today, but if you do shoot in any kind of windy situation, I want to consider them. The next accessory you want to consider is the official X3 underwater housing. I know the X3 is waterproof already, right? So why do you need an underwater housing? Well, the reason is for stitching. Due to lens refraction, 360 cameras can't stitch properly underwater since the water kind of acts like a magnifying glass and this ruins the stitching. So if you want any kind of shot where you use the full 360 degree field of view, you will need something like this. It does a decent job for that purpose. However, the nadir is really prominent. So you will need to mount it in a way that it doesn't impact the important areas of your shots. Otherwise, you can just shoot with the X3 without a housing, but make sure all the action is captured in front of one lens only to avoid those stitching issues. The final accessories you want to consider is adding a bit of protection to your camera. I made a video previously about the X3 lens guards and whether you should get them or not. And I do still recommend them for anyone that shoots a lot of action or you just take a lot of risks with your camera. They're not perfect, however, they will will affect your video quality slightly and that can be kind of annoying to put on. Here I dropped them in the sand and that ruined the adhesive. Then removing the adhesive was kind of hard so I just gave up. But if you do take a lot of risks with the X3, then the lens guards are a no-brainer. They've also just released a screen protector for the big touch screen. So again, if you take a lot of risks with your camera, then you may want to consider it. However, personally, I wouldn't call it a must-have accessory since a lot of the screens haven't been breaking. Lately, inside the Insta360 Facebook groups, I've seen a lot of smashed lenses, but not smashed screens. So instead, I'd focus more on not smashing your lenses if you think there's a chance you could. You may also want to consider Insta360 Care, which covers your camera for a year if you accidentally smash the lens or damage it. They basically repair it and send it back to you free of charge. Personally, I'm a pretty safe person and I know I'm not going to smash a lens on my camera, but often people that do extreme sports or use their camera a bit more dangerously are more prone to potentially need this. So consider it if you are. So that's it for my top 10 accessories for the X3. Do you have any you want to add to the list? If so, let me know down below. By the way, the X3 is the primary camera I'm using in my brand new upcoming 360 video course. And in it, I'll show you not only how to mount it for best results, but also how to use all the accessories from this video to achieve epic reframe 360 videos. The course is almost ready, but not quite. So if you follow the link down below, you can either sign up for the wait list or if you're watching this video a few months from now, the course should be ready. Also, if you haven't updated the firmware of the X3 yet, I would advise doing so since they've added three new awesome features that you can learn about in this video here.